If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn JMeter series. In this episode, we are going to see how you can do IP spoofing in JMeter. IP spoofing is a type of malicious attack where the hacker modify the source address to hide the identity. In JMeter, you will approach a similar strategy where you will be using multiple IP address as a source to simulate the real world scenario. So why we need IP spoofing? Suppose if you are using one load generator and you are hitting the load balancer. Suppose if the load balancer or the application has the sticky session, then one IP address will be sticked to one node in your cluster. You will not be able to test other nodes and you will not be test whether the load balancer is working fine or not. This leads to a problem where you will not be completely testing your application performance end to end. Now after IP spoofing is enabled, where you will have multiple source address, then using these source addresses, you will hit your load balancer. Since the traffic is coming from various different source address, load balancer will distribute the traffic accordingly. So using the IP spoofing, you can test your functionalities, load balancer features and other aspects of your application end to end successfully. Now let us see how you can add the IP alias in your Windows machine. You need the admin privilege to add or edit the IP address. First, you have to go to your control panel and open the Wi-Fi properties and select the Internet Protocol version 4 and click on properties. And here by default, you will have the obtain an IP address automatically, but you have to select the use the following IP address here. Then you need to configure the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. You can get the default gateway using the IP config command in your command prompt. Optionally, you can add your DNS server and if you click on advanced under the IP settings tab, you can keep adding your IP alias and if you click on OK, your IP aliases will be added to your interface. If you don't want to follow the UI, you can use the command line prompt using the NetSH interface IPv4 add address. In Linux, it is one command. Just make sure you're using sudo if config and then you have to give the interface name, IP address, netmask and if you hit enter, it will be added to your network interface. Basically, you will get a new interface and this interface you can use it for your testing purpose. Now let us see a quick demo how we can achieve this in Windows and then in Linux. Launch control panel and navigate to network and sharing center and here just click on the internet connection and select properties. Here just select internet protocol version 4 and click on properties and here you will see how obtain a, an IP address automatically. So here we need to configure the using the following IP address. So in this case let us go with 192.168.1.200 and if you type tab subnet mask will be automatically filled and to get the default gateway launch your powershell or command prompt type IP config and hit enter and here you can see the default gateway. So just copy this and paste it in your default gateway section and click on advanced and here I already added one IP address. So let me add one more. So in this case, let us go with 192.168.1.201 and type tab subnet mask will be automatically filled and click on add. So now using these two addresses, we can simulate the IP spoofing. Hit OK, OK, close and close. To validate, there is a simple method. You can leverage curl command. So now I'm going to issue curl i and let us say uh, example.com. So this will give you HTTP 1.1 200 OK. Now I would like to test with my IP alias. To do that, first you need to note down your IP alias. Just type IP uh, config and hit enter. 
and under wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi, you can see your IPv4 addresses. So 200 and 201. These two addresses we just added. So now just uh, copy one of the address. In this case, let us go with 200 and let me clear my screen and curl hyphen hyphen interface and paste the IP address and hyphen I example.com and hit enter. So now you are getting valid 200 OK. Now let us change the IP address to say uh, 240. So this address is not there in my interface. Now if you hit enter, it will not work. So only the address whichever we have configured in our interface, those address only it will work. Other address will not work. So this is how you validate your IP alias using the curl command. Now let us launch jmeter. So this jmeter has a simple uh, web request. So in this case, I have one data set config and I have configured one uh, ips.csv where you will be entering your list of IP addresses we just created and the request defaults you can see the URL port number protocol and if you click on test plan so those details will be read from this user defined variables. So by default we are launching example.com using the HTTP on the port 80 and inside the thread group I have loop count 3 and example.com there is one sample request which will uh, hit from the source IP address. And if you go to advanced tab, here you need to configure your source address. So this source address is coming from basically from the request defaults. So in the request defaults, I already configured the advanced section. So P underscore IP means it will read the source IP address from the CSV file. And make sure you select the implementation as HTTP client for Otherwise, your IP spoofing will not work. So these are the two things you need to take care. One is the implementation and another one is source IP address. Now let me launch my CSV file. So in this case, I have 192.168.1.200, 201, 202. Now let us add a 202 using the command line. So you need to use uh, net sh and then you need to add the IPv4 add address. So in this case, let us add it in uh, Wi-Fi and let us add the 192.168.1.201. So this is our third IP address, sorry, 202. And subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and hit enter. So this needs admin privilege. So you must have the admin privilege. Now let me launch my PowerShell as an admin. So now I was able to add successfully after launching my terminal as an admin privilege. Now if you type IP config and hit enter, you can see all the three IP v4 addresses. So now it is time to run our script. Just go to your jmeter and click on run. So now as you see, the request is going from the source address 200, 201, 202. If you add some different IP address, it will not work. Now let us test it. So in your IPS.csv, in your CSV file, just enter 192.168.1.240 and save this, clear my screen and click on run. As you see 240, it is not working. So it will give you this error, cannot assign requested address bind. So this is how you use multiple source address to test your application so that you will be able to confirm all the aspects of your application. Now let us do the same thing in Linux. This is my AWS EC2 instance. I am running uh, Java, the default uh, version, which comes with uh, default installation, which is uh, OpenJDK 11. And here I have uh, two things. One is my uh, Git repository, where you can see IP spoofing uh, folder. Within that, I have the uh, Jmeter script and I have Jmeter 5.5 installed here. And if you enter uh, if config, you will see the Ethernet 0, the interface and Ethernet 0 uh, colon 0, which has one uh, IP address and uh, the uh, other interface. So to add the interface, basically the IP alias, you need to use 
this command sudo if config and interface and the IP address net mask and then you have to enter the uh, subnet mask. So in this case, let us go with uh, eth0 of uh, 1 and then let us give some IP address in this case 219 and hit enter. Similarly, let us enter uh, 2 and here uh, 220 and hit enter. So now let me clear my screen and if you enter uh, if config, you can see your interfaces. So 218, 219, 220. So in this uh, EC2 instance, I am running a simple Nginx. So now if you enter curl i uh, localhost and hit enter, you can see it is giving 200 OK. So now let us uh, use this one of the uh, IP address 218 in our curl command. So just type curl i and localhost and then interface is our IP address and if you hit enter this will give you 200 OK. But now if you enter say uh, 240 uh, this will not work because there is no IP alias for 240. So similar approach we are going to use. So now let us uh, go inside the uh, learn uh, Jmeter series folder and then let us go inside IP spoofing. Now let us uh, cat the ips.csv file. So right now as you see uh, we have 218, 201 and then 202. So now we have to edit this. So to edit nano ips.csv. So now just uh, remove these addresses and then let us add 219, 220 and save it. So now if you type if config, we have these three addresses already added to our ips.csv. So now we can uh, execute. Let me clear my screen. Let us go back to the uh, home directory and let us uh, go inside the uh, Apache bin jmeter.sh hyphen n hyphen t. So again, uh, we are going to uh, run the IP spoofing dot jmx and then we are going to pass the URL port number and the protocol and then let us uh, pass the hyphen l run one dot log and if you hit enter so this should work fine as you see no errors and uh, there are four uh, requests now let me cat out the run1.log and here you can see example the transaction name from this address which is uh, successful basically 200 ok and from 219 200 220 200. So this is how you use multiple IP addresses in Jmeter to test your application so that you will simulate the real world situation using your test plan. I hope this video is pretty useful. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.